Hey, it's Eric here. I invite you to follow along as I go ahead and complete my version of the About Me project. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account, step one. Okay, speak visually, AZX, okay. All right, so I'm logged in. I'm going to jump into the Create to start building my project. Okay, so I know I need to make a project about myself. So I'm thinking about some of the interests I have. So I love photography, and I love being outside. So I'm going to work, I'm going to play on those two things, but um, I know I have to use sound as well. So using those tools, let's try and build this project. So first things first, let's find a backdrop that suits me. So like I love being outside, so I'm going to go categories, outdoors, and try to find a nice looking, um, nice looking backdrop. So I like this boardwalk. This is nice. This reminds me of being back, back home. Okay, great. So now let's see. Am I as, if I was a sprite, I don't think I'd be the cat. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a new sprite. So I'll go ahead into animals, um, anything popping out. What about people? Do I want to choose a person? I think I want to choose a cartoon, actually. So I'll go ahead. I think Nano is definitely my favorite. And I think if I was a sprite, I'd definitely be Nano. Um, okay, so I'm going to choose Nano. Okay. Great, so I'll go ahead and use my, my cut tool, my delete tool, and get rid of the scratch cat. Okay, so we're looking good, looking good. Let's go ahead and move Nano over here. So what do I want to do now? Well, I said I like photography, and I like being outside. So maybe I go ahead and look in my sprites and see if I can't find something that aligns with my interests. So I'll go here. I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. I'll go into the, my sprites and see if I can't find um, something that uh, is something that I like. So let's see. Um, what if I had a laptop? So I love being on my laptop. I love creating videos like this and, and making films. So maybe I'll have a laptop hanging out in the scene. So maybe I'm at the beach hanging out uh, with my laptop working on working on a, a, one of my many projects I'm, I'm, I'm working on. So I'll go ahead and put Nano in front of the laptop. And I'll go ahead and increase Nano's size a little bit. OK, so I'll use my Grow tool. OK, cool. So hanging out, laptop on the boardwalk, enjoying life. That sounds like something that I would, that I would definitely do. So I'll go ahead and move Nano here. Move my laptop over just a little bit. So as you can see, too, what I'm doing is I'm manipulating these. So if I click Nano, I move him. Nano's going to jump in front of this sprite. So if you click and move, that sprite jumps up to the front. So that's kind of a cool thing to know how to do. OK, so let's go ahead and start um, building the project um, as far as like programmatically. So sorry, dropping in some blocks. So I'm going to use an event block when green flag is clicked. And I'm going to go ahead and have Nano say, hi, my name is Eric. So I'll go ahead into my looks box and, and hit a say block. So say, hi, my name is Eric. Awesome. So let's go ahead and try this out. Hit the green flag. Hi, my name is Eric. Awesome. So we can go ahead. Um, what do I want to say? Um, let's say, um, I'm just working, just working on one of my many assignments for school. Awesome. So let's try it again. Hi, my name is Eric. Um, let's say one more thing, but I love being outside. I love studying outside, which is definitely true. Cool. So I wonder if in the background we could have like some birds or like something that sort of fits this scene a little bit because it's like a very nice serene, serene um, scene, <laughs> a little alliteration there. Uh, so let's see if we can't have any music playing in the background. Background. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to have, uh, I want this to, pl to play synchronously with when I hit the green flag. So I'll use two events here. Uh, so when green flag is clicked, I'll be saying these things. Then I also want the sound to play, so I'll make another event. I'll go play sound, play sound, pop. But I don't want pop, so what, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll jump into my sounds here, go to my library, and see if we can't find any um, music that sort of fits this scene. So do you see effects, car passing, motorcycle passing, rattle, um, 
loops, anything, cave, let's, let's see what cave sounds like. Okay, <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Uh, so we'll see, we might actually not have any, we might not have anything uh, for us to, to experiment with. Maybe bird? Okay, so let's try, let's try and use a bird sound here. So I'll use bird. Um, now it's kind of loud, it's kind of a loud sound. And if I want this in the background, maybe I don't want that to be so loud. So what I'll do is uh, I'll go to, I'll highlight everything, and then I'll go to effects and do softer, okay? So now it's, it's a little bit softer. So I have my sound, and now I can go in here, and where it said pop, which was originally my only sound, I'm going to do it, make, make it bird. So when I click this, we should play the sound bird as well as saying these things. Cool, okay, cool. So I want the bird to not just chirp once, but rather a few times. So maybe I'll put a, make a loop. So I'll grab one of my loops here. Uh, we'll do a repeat 10, and I'll put this, this sound in here. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of wait time here. So we'll wait a second, play the sound, wait a second, play the sound. Okay, so let's see what this sounds like. Okay. <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool. I wonder if we can't find another sound too. Let's let's look in here to maybe put something else going on. Um, effects, bubbles, crickets, crickets, goose. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put a random goose in here. So I'm gonna go ahead also. I'll put. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, I'll go ahead and put in a a goose sound effect. So maybe a goose comes. Uh, like five seconds in. So I actually I'll create another when green flag is clicked. I'll put a a wait wait five seconds. Okay, and then I'll put a, a goose sound here. You know what? I'm gonna put this in a loop as well because I want this to uh, to loop. So I'll do repeat three times. So we'll go ahead test this out, build our scene. Hi, my name is Eric. <laughs> okay, cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, so that kind of talks about like where I like to be, I like to be outside hanging out. Um, so now maybe we have the laptop interact. So maybe we um, we have the laptop um, be able to be clicked. So I'll go ahead and jump over to this sprite, and I will go ahead and I will get rid of these blocks which are here for some reason, and then I'll go ahead and make an event block when this sprite is clicked. Um, something's gonna happen. So what is this gonna happen? Maybe this plays a sound of me. Maybe I record a sound of my, myself saying uh, I love being on the computer and, and working on videos. So I'll go ahead and record some sound really quick. So I'll jump into sound and I'll go ahead and hit my microphone and get ready to record. Okay, so I'll hit the record button. I'll allow this. Okay, so hey my name is Nope, I'm not going to take that. <laughs> start over. So I'm going to delete this by hitting the delete button, and I'm going to start now. So this is my laptop. I love working on video projects and editing my photography, and I love being outside when I study. Cool. So we'll go ahead and play this back. This is my laptop. I love working on video projects and editing my photography, and I love being outside when I study. Okay, great. So I have recording one. I'll name this narration. Narration. Okay, so now this narration is going to be um, played when I click this sprite. So let's go ahead and in in my um, in my in my looks, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm sorry. In my in my sound, I'll go ahead and and hit when sprite is clicked. Play narration. Okay. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead and try this out. When green flag is clicked. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm working on one of my many school assignments. I love studying outside. So we hear that goose. Then let's click this. This is my laptop. I love working on video projects and editing my photography. And I love being outside when I study. <laughs> cool. So good, good, good. So we're setting the scene, me outside studying. So what else can come? What else can come? Um, let's go ahead and jump into some of the sprites we have. Um, and maybe something, uh, any animals that I really, I really love. Um, where if we can find a cat, we'll have my cat come in because I actually I have a cat named Mac that I absolutely love. So here we go. We have we can use we we'll use uh we'll use this cat here, and what we do. So now we have another sprite, and then we'll have this cat come in, 
and then um, he'll meow. So we'll go ahead, when green flag is clicked, um, when green flag is clicked, we'll have this cat glide into the scene. So we'll actually, what we'll do is we will hide, well actually, where do we want the cat to land? I guess that's the first question. Um, and the cat, I think, um, is actually facing the wrong way. So maybe we go ahead and manipulate this really quick. So I see the cat is facing the wrong way. So I have my sprite click, I'm gonna jump into costumes. Then I'll go ahead and use this reflect tool, which is gonna reflect it, flip it left and right. So there we go, now my cat is facing the correct way, so I'll go ahead and now I can jump back to the scripts and make the cat come in. So what I wanna do is I ultimately want my cat to, to end up here. So I'll go ahead and jump into motion. And what's cool is wherever I move my cat, this go to block is automatically going to update and same with the glide block. So if I want to have the cat glide here, I'll just go ahead and simply grab, grab this glide block and that'll drop it right here. So I'll go ahead, um, grab this. So I want the cat to glide from over here to this point. So I already have where it's gonna land. Now I need to know where it's gonna start. So I'll put it all the way over here. Just move it, move it, move it over. So you see it's kind of giving me a little bit of trouble as I move it over. Um, so I'll have to be pretty careful with this. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll move it over, over, over. So it's going to this point. So this is the coordinates now, go to. So we'll go ahead and try this, drop it in there. So go to this position, then glide to this position. So let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> so maybe that was a little too quick. So what I'm gonna do now is put a little bit of, <laughs> there's that goose. I'll put a little bit of wait time in there. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and stop our project. Okay, cool. So we can't possibly just have the cat stay there and not do something. So how about after he, after our cat gets there, we have the cat um, meow. So we'll do a meow and then he'll move back and forth. So we'll do a repeat and we'll do a repeat. Let's do this repeat. Let's make this forever. So at forever be doing this. We'll have the cat wait one second and then the cat will, the cat will meow. And then <laughs> once the cat meows, um, maybe it glides a little bit. So it'll glide, <laughs> I don't know, it'll glide to let's say here, okay? So glide to here, and then it'll glide back. Okay, so all I'm doing is as I glide, this is gonna automatically update the, the uh, coordinates, so let's go ahead and try this out. Actually, let's make this more than one second. Let's go ahead and make this three seconds. So let's go ahead and try this out. Hi, my name is Eric. Oh, our cat's coming in. I'm working one of my many assignments. I love studying outside. <laughs> the cat is meowing. Uh, go ahead, click the laptop. This is my laptop. I love working on video projects and editing my photography. I love being outside when I study. <laughs> okay, cool. Now let's also make... <laughs> that cat is meowing. Okay, so let's do something with uh, our cat. And then, how about if you click the cat, um, we'll go ahead and have something happen. So we'll have the cat introduce itself um, with um, a look block here and say, so say, my name, my name is Mac. Eric has spoiled me for 18 long years. Okay, good. And I'll make this wait time about five seconds. So let's go ahead and test out our scene and see um, if everything is working. So hit the green flag. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm working one of my many school assignments. I love studying outside. We'll go ahead and click the cat. My name is Mac. Eric has spoiled me for 18 long years. And then finally, we'll go ahead and click the laptop. This is my laptop. I love working on video projects and editing my photography, and I love being outside when I study. <laughs> okay, cool. So finally, I'm gonna rename this project um, uh, About Eric. And there we go. So that is my um, pretty simple About Me uh, project. So as you can see, I added a few new sprites. Um, definitely used um, my money's worth as far as playing sounds, so maybe too many sounds. Um, but I think it gives you a good sense of um, what, I, what it is I like to do and uh, where I like to be. So I look forward to watching your About Me projects and make sure to upload them to the About Me studio.